Bye everybody, have a nice day at high school, learn to learn some good stuff, be cool, Daddy. see you later. Good morning guys and welcome back to the Sullivan family, it's Tuesday, we are just filming a day in the life vlog today guys, nothing particularly planned. Uh, obviously the high school kids have gone off to high school. The little ones are getting ready for school. Say hi Leah. Hi. Mummy's just doing their hair a minute. Everybody else, we all seem to be on, on time and on track this morning. It's five past eight. Um, I'll be taking them to school in a minute uh, on the school run. Um, I think I'm gonna try and get the trampoline finished never finished it at the weekend I've got to finish the lacing up because the kids are nagging me and the weather's not supposed to be bad today the weather was the weather wasn't very good yesterday so I didn't bother in the end but I might try and get that done today in amongst everything else that I'm trying to do and Zoe's trying to do what are you planning to do today um, Zoe? I don't know I've, I've got to finish the boys bedroom because I only finished half of it on Sunday yeah so I'm trying to get in there and do a bit more um, no doubt I'll have to do all the same things that I do every day. Washing, tidying. <laughs> I get to see I don't it. Know. I, I, I've got to do some Easter stuff. Easter stuff. I know how much Easter, Easter, Easter bags. Easter, Easter bags. Bag. Easter t-shirts. Yes. I know how I'm, much I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Oh, oh, hang on, two seconds, two seconds. Right. Look, these, these are the latest things that um, Zoe has been making. So they're like Easter egg hunt bags, aren't they good? Little Easter treat bags. Easter treat you bags. Can't do what you want them, really. One for Erin there. One for Leah. I really like the designs as well, especially the bunny design. Like Florence's, that's my Florence's bunny design. They're really cool. A little Hessian sacks for doing the for doing little treats in. They're really really good. And they're cool. So they're, they're on sale now, aren't they, on your Leopard Fox Designs on Instagram? They will be when I put them on this morning. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> the time this morning, did, did, yeah. did I just force your hand? No, they're sorry. <laughs> no, they're really good because I saw Zoe making these and I thought they're really ace. And you're doing Easter t shirts as well, aren't you? Um, yep, I am. There you go. Some sales pitch for the morning, guys. Aprons as well, I've been doing aprons. Oh, yeah. I haven't finished with them yet, have I? So the plan is, the plan is for this week. Sorry, the plan is for this week. Uh, I need to find a carrot cake recipe. I need to do that today. I'm gonna to find a carrot cake recipe today. Um, Friday, I'm gonna be taking Leah, Erin, Toby and Agnes, she's coming as well for the ride, into town on Friday evening after school um, to go and get the ingredients. They're fighting about something in there. Uh, the ingredients for the carrot cake. Uh, which I'm going to be baking on Sunday, I think, two seconds. I'm back again. <clears throat> it's a Roblox argument going on in there. They're playing Roblox before school. They'll be putting their iPads on charge in about five minutes. Yeah, so I'm going to be making my cake on Sunday. Uh, Isabel's making her cake on Saturday, which is going to be really exciting, really fun. Can't wait to film it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and where was I going with that? You're going to buy the ingredients. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to buy the ingredients on Friday. Thank you, Zoe. My brain just went white mist. Who am I? What am I doing on here? I have no idea. So yeah, lots of other stuff going on as well, guys. Lots of admin tasks that we're doing at the moment. Me and Zoe are having a really good catch up and sort out with admin tasks and things like that and all the other stuff that's going on at the moment, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, so I'll try and get out and do the trampoline today. 
try and get that fixed so they can have a they can have a bounce later. They'll they'll enjoy that. And I'm sure Zoe will be doing stuff as well today, won't you? I'm doing fajitas for tea. Oh, yeah, see ya. Uh -huh. Fajitas. I like fajitas. Are you are you going to film that? Okay. Maybe. We'll see. Should we just see how the film progresses today? How the vlog progresses? Yeah. It's a bit chaotic in the kitchen. And they were coming from the school. It's funny though. It and is funny. Eating out the pan and... No, we should. We ought to film that because it's funny. It is funny at that time of night. It's just chaos, and um, and you're just trying to get everything done and all the packed lunch boxes and everything else and all the kids are in and the high school kids coming in and everybody's starving and they want a drink and they want this and that. It's quite funny actually. I've got the head Noah normally is his head in the Yeah, <laughs> Noah, it's Noah spends about half head. an hour next to the fridge when he comes in from school, bless him. He's normally starving. How much data is it until... He's Sorry, done? my iPhone storage was full and the camera shut down. Uh, and when I went on to my deleted, I realised I had 788 videos in my deleted on my phone. So that just goes to show you how much video we take in an average couple of weeks. That's crazy. Ah, uh, coffee. Coffee. Do you like those bags? Yeah. Cute, aren't they? They're all really cute. Yeah. So, unfortunately, Agnes was supposed to have had an appointment today for... Um, for allergy really, test. For allergy testing. Please appointment please. we've been waiting for for absolutely ages because we think there's more going on than just milk allergy. I want her properly allergy tested because... Yeah. Um, she kind of got diagnosed with a dairy allergy when she was small, but... We've kind of not got any further, have we? We've no. tried the milk ladder a few times and that's not worked. No. Um, so we kind of, uh, we've been back to the doctors for more help. And I'm concerned that maybe she's allergic to something else yes. as well because her skin keeps flaring up. Yes. Um, and I'm not really sure. What? I mean, we it's make... It's just guesswork. It's guesswork. And, you know, cutting certain things out of her diet like we did when she was little and we cut, like certain things out that would make her really sick, which was yogurts and things like that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of anybody with children with allergies or, you know, and, and I mean, not once obviously with severe That's allergies, like yeah. that caused them to have, you know. Yeah, the com with, uh, pens and that. With, um, yeah. with Agnes, it, it makes her skin flow up and gives her a bad tummy Yeah, and really bad stomach pains and all those sorts of things. Stomach so it's not, pain. it's not an allergy that's like, Life threatening, yeah, as like such. An kind of allergy, mm -hmm. but um, <laughs> it was kind of an elimination process when she was small, wasn't it? With yep. the doctors and everything else, and um, Why but she was there... never actually been properly tested. Why is they there... don't like to, to do it. Have you just nicked an ice cube? You have, haven't you? Um, so we went back to the doctors a while back and said, Look, you know, I really want her to be properly My tested babies. because we're kind of just. Sometimes feel like we're fishing in the dark with other things that are making her skin flare up, and sometimes they change the ingredients in things, um, which you don't realise they've they've put dairy or milk in them, and it's it's a bit of a minefield anyway. But I've said I want her, you know, we would like her yep. to be properly tested. So Definitely. This was kind of the first appointment that we had, um, but unfortunately the paediatrician has or the consultant has had to go somewhere else. Um, today, so it's been cancelled. So hopefully, we will get another one soon. Um, yeah. We'll I know she's gonna make one. Two appointments. Right. No, 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 again, no, no, no. Get off my excuse. Um, well, two more appointments next week. All the appointments came through at the same time. Two more appointments next week. Leah's got a um, eye hospital. What do you call it? It's an ophthalmologist. Ophthalm ophthalmic? ophthalmic ophthalmics. I always yeah, it's orthoptic. Orthoptic. There you go. I always say. Just take yeah. the letter O and add some something else to the end of it. Appointment for her eyes. Haven't you next week? And yeah. this week you pick up your new, new glasses. glasses on Friday. And Erin has an appointment as well next week with the paediatrician. I think it's just I, I don't actually know. <laughs> I think it's because... Hearing one, is it? No. Hearing one. When the twins were born, obviously, they were premature, etc, etc. They've always been under the paediatrician. Now, Leah got discharged from the paediatrician probably about 18 months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Erin wasn't discharged because of her hearing issues and she was still waiting for hearing aids, etc, etc at the time. She wasn't discharged. So I think it's just a... a, a, a a yearly, Five, yeah, and the yearly assessment. So they weigh them, they um, to their height, all those sorts of things that they do when they're tiny. But also, um, see if there's any kind of follow-up 
stuff needed. Um, but now she's under the care of um, audiology. I don't know if she still will be under the, you know, she might well get discharged from the paediatrician now. Yeah, because she's I would now, have thought so. It's talking normally about, so that they can, the paediatrician can, Ellie. yeah, normally so the paediatrician can um, forward any concerns yeah. because of them being premature, but obviously most of the things have been covered now yes. with them and she is under audiology. Yep. So, Fingers crossed. She might actually, at the age of seven, get discharged. <laughs> Bless her. She's been under. They've been under them since birth, um, for but obvious reasons. But it'd be nice to. If we can get some answers for Agnes as well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Some proper answers. I mean, we've been, we've pushed family to testing before, and they've said do the milk ladder thing, and now we're hoping, fingers crossed, that that will be um, give give us some give us some answers as well. Yeah, because obviously she's she's coming up seven mm -hmm. now um so we're kind of out of the realms of you know babies yeah just need some more clarification really on it because i feel like we're just fishing around in the dark really not really knowing what to do no all right yeah i can't wait for you to get your new glasses i know neither can i <laughs> neither can i right guys on that note we're going to finish our coffees and in about five minutes time we're going to get everybody ready for school and head over to school which will be nice someone turn my washing machine off not me not me because it's taken a really long time no i didn't touch the washing machine i just fix it that's all oh somebody asked me about how I how we fixed the washing machine uh the other day don't know. so the washing machine was blocked but there was a blockage thing come up right there's two things that you should do you should check the filter down the bottom but you're gonna if if your washing machine's full of water it's going to pour everywhere. A, so you need there, to. There's a, most washing machines, and my old one didn't have it. The most washing machines have got this. Can you see it there? Front. See yes. that? So when you open it up, there's a little look. There's this yeah. inside. And when you unscrew it, it's got a little filter in it. But if it's the water <laughs> in it, the water will just pour shelter. everywhere. Yay. Which is why we were going, oh my god, my socks are wet. Did you make that? Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Oh, and the second thing is the hose. Oh, check the hose and check the connector under the sink because that could be blocked. They're the two easiest things to check. After that, it's in the lap of the gods. Could be the pump, could be anything. So, but they're the two things to check because if you leave a pipe sitting for long enough, like we've let that pipe that hadn't moved for six months, it had a build up of silt in it and stuff like that. So when we start to move the pipe around, all this gunk came out. And then I cleaned it with the dishwasher tablet. Oh, that did a, that did a well. really good job actually. I don't know if that's you know actual gen, but I've seen it a few times. People it did a really good job. Clean it with dishwasher tablets, um, and it did do a really really mm. good job. Like you know that smell the washing machines get after a while. Yeah. I because I clean the seals out all the time and I clean the drawer out all the time, but it's actually in the machine. We're lucky here that we don't have like hard, hard water because when we lived down it's south, software. it was awful really really lime scale and we had to use um what's that stuff you put in calgon calgon up here the water's really soft but obviously still i leave i mean the washing machine is used constantly and when it's not in use which is very rare the door gets left open but it still has it, the build-up still gets sometimes smells funny. yeah but it got rid of all the smell all the everything so I'm, it must clean through the pipes as well so one thing i've learned is Remove your waste pipe from time to time and give it a bit of a rinse through. You could take it off and give it a rinse through if you want. Or just give it a bit of a wiggle and make sure everything's moving in it. And then, you know, give, you a, give, give your washing machine a rinse through. Expert advice here. Expert advice. <laughs> this is how you learn, by doing things. This is how I learn, by doing things, by fixing things. Right, anyway guys, we are going to finish coffees and get to school. Right guys, so me and Florence have taken everybody to school, haven't we? Florence had a buggy, she was not going to leave that house without her buggy. We've been to the pharmacy to pick up some medication that we needed to pick up. 
But we just wanted to come down and check out the beach in Lossiemouth because it looks extra, extra pretty this morning. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, Florence? Looks really nice down here, doesn't it, this morning? Down the beach? So we thought we'd just, we would just uh, walk across the road and get some video and share it with you guys. So anyway, we are going to head home now. We're going to go home. Let's go and see mummy and everybody. Yeah, Joseph and Livia. Okay, right guys, we're heading home. Right, today's job. I'm back in the boys' room. I'm going to attempt to finish off in here today. Um, I don't have that much left to do. And I've got like half an hour while um, Flo is sleeping. And uh, hello. Um, Joseph's just come upstairs. Ben's doing some bits downstairs on the computer. So I. I'm gonna give finishing in here a go. Who told you that it was too late? When was it that you started leaning that way? Four tires cut into the clay. It dries up and now there's just one road to take. It's growing up over with green. So easy to drive on. room is done. Coffee is cold. I need to go and warm it up. Pull it up to drink it. Forgot. Not perfect by a long shot but it's clean and it's pretty much tidy. So it'll do for now. Now I'm going to go and deal with all the other stuff that needs hoovering and cleaning. Um, and get rid of the rubbish that I've just found in Toby's room and warm my coffee up because it's stone cold. Hmm, just popped outside for a weather check. Because we're just about to make lunch. It's uh, half past 11, we're just about to make lunch. And I was gonna bring Joseph and Florence outside so I could finish doing the trampoline, doing the lacing around the bottom, so they could have a play on it. And it was supposed to be sunny all day-ish, you know, not raining, but it's raining. So it's kind of throwing a spanner in the works a little bit. But I think what I'll do is I'll um, come out again after lunch and see what it's like. Yeah. Right. And on that note, it's lunch. The sun is out. You go for lunch, you come outside again, and it's sunny, just what we wanted. So, are you, are you are you going to help me? Yeah. yeah. 
do the trampoline and fin get it finished. Yeah, look at the baby. Where is the baby? Yeah. She's right there. <laughs> She's right there. Bless her. Yeah, sun's out. The sun is out, so we're going to get the bit. The, I'm going to try and get the trampoline done. I've got literally an hour before I need to go and pick them up from school, so we're just going to enjoy a bit of time in the fresh air. Bless him. Yeah. Me. Why can't you see? No hope in what's left of me. I had to tell you before I fall asleep. Sitting there on the edge, babe, not knowing which way to lean. Done. I've laced it all up. I can't believe it. How do I get in? It's actually done. Right, so you climb in the heart, climb in through the gap. Hang on, I'll show you. Hang on, hang on. Let go, darling. I'll show you what to do, okay? okay. Ready? Here you go. If you want to get out, I'll get you out, okay? Flo, Flo, do you want to have a shot? Do you want to have a shot? What do you think, Florence? Are you going to have a shot? Are you going to have a go? Do you want to have a quick bounce? I'm thinking. What do you think? Do you have a quick bounce? That's it. Go on, have a bounce. <laughs> have a little bounce, darling. See what you think. Go on. That's it. If you don't like it, Daddy will get you out. All right? You know what I'll have to do now? I'll have to tell your sisters uh, that uh, it's all f and, and Toby that it's all fixed. Now uh, they can go on the trampoline now. It's all done. Do you want to have a shot? Are we not sure? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Three, two, one, go! She's holding it. 
What a brave girl! Well done! That's really brave. Cheers. There we go, all finished. Yeah. So the surround is on now as well. So the little green surround is on now, so Joseph can get on and off, no bother. So that's, that's the trampoline all done. I'm very pleased. Just in time for the school run which I'm going to be leaving for in about 20 minutes. Well, I think the trampoline is a success. Right guys, we have got fajitas tonight. It is like my most favorite meal. One of my most favorite meals. The chicken burgers is my favorite, that's awesome. One moment, please. It's looking nice, Zoe. It's down the side, behind the spray, there's some in there. It's looking really nice. Thanks. Really, really good. Um, we're going to finish the video guys, we're going to finish the video now, uh, we've got tea on and then we've got quite, uh, we're just going to be busy. Oh, hey, have you, have you taken over the cooking, have you? What? Have you taken over the cooking and you just stirring? Stirring. It's just stirring. Right guys, we're going to wrap the video up now because we're going to be um, cracking all the stuff in a minute. Um, it's been a very productive day today, it's been very good. It's been a midweek catch up. Um, I think we've got another video tomorrow, uh, another, sorry, another clothes sorting video tomorrow from Zoe and then I'll be back on the normal vlogs again. Do you have anything to add Zoe? She's <laughs> it's that time of day isn't it? It is that time of day. Is that time of day? Did you? I didn't pick you up. Did you try any of those new what, um, but it's called Smothmush? <laughs> anyway guys that's it for today uh, please subscribe to our channel please hit the bell for notifications drop us a like don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our Stop social media that. our facebook instagram and tiktok <laughs> and that just leaves me and zoe to say Thanks for spoiling us guys, thanks for watching, take care and we'll see you in the next video.